first thing that we're going to do when we have Iron Cat open, of course, create a new scene document. Okay. Don't forget to switch to the metric tab. You must switch to the metric tab and then choose blue as your background. Click OK. <clears throat> Now, once Iron Cat opens completely, we'll go over <clears throat> a review of how to do line dimensioning. In other words, how do we make a line that is a specific length? We're going to start by dragging in a block. And... <clears throat> We're going to right click on the block, actually not right click, uh, left click on the left click on the block one time and it will turn to yellow and you'll see the push pins. We're going to right click on the push pins and select edit size box. We want the size box to be the length of our requirements for this project, which is uh, going to be 40. 40 for the width and 100 millimeters for the height and click OK. And then we're going to left click over here in the blue area to apply all them uh, changes. <clears throat> now we're going to use our extrude wizard. So click on the extrude wizard here and we need to select the face of our block. When you hover over it with the mouse as <clears throat> After you have selected the extrude wizard, you'll see that the face turns green. That's showing that that's where you're going to be working. So click that green dot in the middle, left click it, and select remove material. Now click on finish. And we're ready to begin. Let's go ahead and start by using the fit scene button. So press the fit scene button. And now let's talk about line creation. This is very important. You must understand how to create a two-point line. We're going to select two-point line from our menu. And I'm going to start in the lower <clears throat> right-hand corner. And I'm going to left-click there, drag to the left, dragging to the left from the lower right-hand corner. And I'm going to press the tab key while I'm dragging. That's going to shift the focus to the length field. And I'm going to enter in a distance of 15 and press enter. Now you'll see I have a line that is exactly 15 millimeters in length. And you can see over here where the mouse is 15 millimeters in length. This is in the property window of our scene browser. The next thing that we're going to do, let's click the selection tool. Let's say that we wanted to check the length of this line. So we could click the line. And you'll see that in the property window, the length shows up as 15 millimeters. We can change that. Maybe we, let's change it now to 30. So we're going to enter 30, press enter. Okay, so now we have a line that's 30 millimeters in length. So that's another way that you can create a line that's a specific length by using the selection tool, clicking on an existing line, and then changing the length in the length field of the properties window in your scene browser. <clears throat> Let's uh, go ahead and make another line. So I'm going to do two point line and I'm going to do a line here at the top by left clicking in the top right hand corner and dragging to the left in a straight line. And do you see how when I get to a certain point where I'm even with the line at the bottom, I get this green dashed line that um, shows me that I'm at that specific length. We're going to stop there. We're at a 30 uh, millimeter line. So you can use these line guides to show you you know, when you're even with an existing line. Let's go ahead and let's <clears throat> connect these lines together. So I'm going to left click here. And I am going to left click right here. And 
Now, let's do a line that comes up. Let's do a line that comes up up. Let's do a line that comes up 10. So I'm going to left click. I am going to drag up, <clears throat> press the tab key, and enter in a length of 10. Press enter. Okay. Another way that we can do this uh, from the top, okay, if I right click and drag down and let go, if you right click and drag down and let go, it will pop up this little menu uh, box where you can enter a specific length. So I could enter in 10. So you can right click and get this pop up and it'll allow you to enter the specific length. So I'm going to click OK. So I've gone over multiple ways to control the length of your existing line segments that you're creating. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and let's finish this shape off. Let's select the two point line and let's just go from, I'm gonna left click here. I'm gonna drag over, uh, let's go over a distance of 20. Let go, do the same thing up top here. Drag over a distance of 20, let go. And now I'm gonna connect these lines together and we have a shape that looks like a C. Now, if, if we want to <clears throat> extrude this shape, okay, it's going to keep, it's going to get rid of all of the material that is <clears throat> enclosed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the end off by using the trim command, trim and trim. And now I'm going to use a polyline, and a polyline just allows you to click and keep on clicking to enclose items. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to left click on this point. I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to left click. Then I'm going to go straight over. I'm going to left click. I'm going to come straight down. I'm going to left click. I'm going to come straight over, left click, something like this. And there's probably faster ways to do it. I could have, um, you know, obviously come straight up right here. Um, now I just need to enclose this here. So I'm going to left click and left click. So now all of the material in this area right here is going to be removed because it's completely enclosed with lines. All of the material right here is going to be removed because it's completely enclosed with lines. So we're going to go ahead and just click on finish. And you can see we're now left with a shape that looks kind of like a digital C, the letter C. Um, <clears throat> obviously, it doesn't have rounded corners, but we can round the corners. Well, let's round the corners real quickly. So uh, click on your part, a little plus sign over here in your scene browser in front of your part. Then click on the extrude. Let's left click and edit cross section. Now we can come in here. I'm going to do a fit scene. Okay, let's round the corners. So use the fillet command and just grab the corner points, drag them in. And let's drag them in a distance of 10. Enter. And let's drag this one here. We'll go a distance of 10 again. And 10 again. And did I get 10 on the first one? I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to click this. And nope. I'm at 8.716, so I'm going to change that to 10 and press Enter. And now I'm going to finish. And now you can see when we left-click over here, we now have rounded corners on our C. So just a couple of quick um, line creations and the fillet command usage 
Um, how do we come back in and edit a block uh, or make edits to a part that we've already worked on? I've shown you how to find the cross section to edit. You can right click here also and edit cross section. But that al allows you to make changes. Then the last thing, we'll just come up here, we'll do a file and a save as and save that to your my documents folder <clears throat> as line creation quiz and save and there you have just a quick overview of how to make lines that are a certain distance how to use a fillet command how to extrude and how to edit a part and change um, a part that you have already created.